trends. That's the theme of this week on Close with Coppins. And last time we talked about things to consider for the buyer and seller in the marketplace. Today, it's all about those of you that are thinking about taking advantage of the seller's market out there. That's because we're talking about the top five design trends to avoid in 2022 here in Chicago. By the way, I'm Andrew Coppins with the Steve Janik Group at Dreamtown Realty. So my goal here, not to play interior designer, but to get you to think about the choices that you may be tempted to make in 2022, especially if you're making them to potentially sell your home. So let us jump into those five trends to avoid. Number one, open shelving in kitchens. Given how some home spaces are used today compared to just three years ago, open shelving in kitchens or really anywhere is a trend that's going away. Now more than ever, clutter and daily life is on display for the world to see, and frankly, nobody likes to see it in the background of the video or have to work extra hard at cleaning and sorting, am I right? Who has time for that? People are also discovering the need for all the storage humanly possible, and open shelving just doesn't provide much in the way of depth or flexibility in spaces. While it may look cool to buyers, function is actually mattering more than form. So think about that. If you're considering a kitchen upgrade in 2022, avoid open shelving to help your chances of selling your property. It can be a make or break for the new crop of home buyer. Also, number two on the list, open floor plans. No, we're not going to go back to the homes that you remember at grandma and grandpa's, right? But if you're thinking of tearing down all the walls in your living space before you sell, I would think twice today. Why? Because again, how people are using their spaces is different today and there is a greater need for privacy than ever before. Do you like working in that dining room that's wide open while the kids are playing with their toys and everything in the kitchen's going bang? I know I don't enjoy it. Relax though, we're not going into the choppy, crazy layouts and claustrophobic feel of yesteryear's homes either. Just know that it's time to resist tearing down every single wall, and it's time to think creatively about how to get that bright, airy feel that almost every home buyer is looking for, while also giving them some sort of privacy. So the trend of opening all the walls all the time is something to reconsider when your goal is attracting buyers. Number three, exposed vent hoods. Are you seeing a theme here? The days of exposing and opening everything up forever are going bye bye real quick. That includes those vent hoods in the kitchen, especially the ones that are stainless steel and break up that space super awkwardly. Instead, look for ways to put the hood behind closed doors, so to speak. Once again, it's all about streamlining the look and putting things that are eyesores out of view. The restaurant-looking vent hoods are not attractive to the buyer in 2022. Consider making a statement or blending them into the overall look of your kitchen with different wrappings, with different ways of presenting that vent hood it will be more attractive and get your home sold more quickly this year. Number four on this list, gray everything. And yes, that's why I wore this suit. Anyway, what will a painter tell you to do to sell your home? Paint the walls a light gray, right? Well, in 2022, gray's moment is going to be over. People are looking for homes with some personality and gray just doesn't do it. Sure, it can lighten up darker spaces or help make spaces seem bigger, but personality in a home is the trend today. That goes for that gray couch chair or the black splash or anything else that's gray. It's been a solid decade for gray, but everything has its lifespan and grays is about up until it comes back in another decade or so. So before you go spending money on a fresh paint job or new backsplash prior to listing your home, I would reconsider gray as your color choice. Don't worry, I will have some choices for your color scheme in another video talking about the trends that will sell homes in 2022 later this week. And finally, all white kitchens, number five on the list. Arguably, this has been going bye-bye for a few years now, but in 2022, it is 100% true. An all white kitchen is out of style. Much like the gray trend, all white kitchens and really everything else all white, have had its lifespan end. Consider adding some color or two-toned looks with uppers or lowers that are different colors or a backsplash and other accents that can break up the all-white feel of a kitchen. Countertops could be a great way to do that as well. While all-white is timeless, you could even consider going from bright white to a more muted and earthy version of white and still attract a ton of buyers to your kitchen. I mean, we all know that kitchens and bathrooms sell homes, right? 
And that does it for those five trends to avoid. Again, all of these things are here for your consideration if you're looking to make some changes to your home prior to selling. Now, if you aren't in that mode, then do what fits your life best, but know that life's got a real funny way of changing real quick these days. And if you're not even close to on trend, you're going to struggle to get that top dollar for your home. You want to attract the most buyers to your home, that's where you consult with a real estate agent like myself. And if they cannot advise you on trends and design, then they're not even paying attention enough to help you really market and sell your home in the first place. If you want to know more or you've got questions about finding the home of your dreams or putting your home on the market, you know what to do. Look in the description of this video for my contact information and more on the Steve Jennett Group at Dreamtown Realty. Until next time, I hope you'll consider finding out what it's like to close with Coppins soon.